It is Tuesday, the 13th day of July, 2021. Tuesday, July 13, 2021. It is day number 194 in the year 2021. There are 171 days left in the year to make it great. We are into week number 28, still in the first portion of week number 28. But 52.88% of the year has come and gone. Good morning to you wherever you are, the north, south, east or west. Good morning, good morning, good morning on what is looking to be a bright, sunshiny day. Although the rain can come at any time during this month of June to November. Good morning to you wherever you are. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I want to say a special good morning to a number of people who constantly listen. Ma baby, good morning to you. Your daughter, Tita. Mrs. George, good morning. Good morning to my friend up there at Green's supermarket in Leopoldville Wallhouse always listening always locked in Desima Rue good morning to you Paula Azil Auntie Paula good morning to you Auntie Esther over there in the USBI good morning to you Vanya good morning good morning good morning How's Savan Pai doing this morning? Lorraine Benoit, good morning to you as well. Hope you're having a very, very good. Auntie Sonia Williams. Mrs. Andre, good morning to you. I have not seen you in a while, Mrs. Andre. And all the folks who constantly listen. I know some time ago I met a lady at church in Portsmouth. She told me she uh, she told me that she and her husband always listen. Unfortunately, her name slips me, but madam, you know yourself. My good friends, uh, Mr. and Mrs. up there in Point Michel, near the Pori Plain Field. Good morning to you. In Girardella, Gliston, uh, Fortney, good morning. Mark Coffee, good morning. My friends in Eggleston in particular, good morning. Ma Verdan, good morning. How are you doing? I promise, I promise, I promise that I will come to see you very soon. I know you had big name visitors recently, so you know, I will come see you very soon. Okay, Ma Verdan, good morning to you. On the telephone, I know someone has called in already. Good morning. You know what? Before nothing, yeah, let, 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 let me take in, in front. What are you taking in front? I am not a bad boy, yeah. but I can't. I play in your own music for you this morning. You have your own feel. Again, I said I can't help it. Thank you very much. See, I play your own theme for I'm you. I'm very pleased <laughs> with the opening statement that you made by playing me a song. Uh, let me appreciate it. <laughs> Annihilation. Very impressive victory by the West Indies. And a lot of you all get rid of the old man. He too old for West Indies. A lot of you all, critics of the West Indies cricket, saying that we must get rid of the old man. The opener put on a thunderous display with his first T20 half century since 2016 to secure a series victory for West Indies as he pummeled the Australian attack around St. Lucia in what became a cakewalk of a chase. Having made 102 runs in nine innings since his recall earlier this year, Gill launched seven sixties in an inning that took him past 14,000 T20 runs. For, let me just repeat it for the critics. 14,000 runs. He has gone through the sound barrier where no human being alive have come close to that. After he departed, the star Nicholas Poran ensured that there was no hiccups in the chase. He closed it out with more than five overs to spare. It is the first time that West Indies have won a bilateral series or more than one match against Australia in any formats since 1995. 
since 1995 for those pundits of cricket who always want to come and say West Indies is finished. Since 19, we've all agreed since 1995, we have never won a bilateral series against Australia. And don't come and tell me, oh, it's a watered down team. Australia, they have their full strength. No. Put a point there. If Australia doesn't have their full strength and it's a watered down team, they're getting what they deserve. They're getting what they deserve. Do you expect the West Indies to deal with them in that way? But let us destroy them. Exactly. Five love. So we're going to give come them. And talk about oh, water down. Water team. down. Is it not a, they didn't say we sent a water down team to Bangladesh. And, we beat, and we beat Bangladesh. Oh, man. That's but nonsense. once you meet a team. Partner, any pong If them. West Indies play in grammar school, then blows. they should give the blows. Okay? Right. Once two teams are brought together, unless it's a special exhibition match but when you're on tour you're playing points go on your on your jacket on your ratings oh man this water look i give west indies blows everybody knows that you all hear my comments i don't hide it either but when people make foolish comments water down team oh this person smith not there yeah. smith is injured he's injured he's not there so what man getting blows because right. if australia had beat west indies Oh, you, you would hear, the hear critics. You would hear them. You would hear the critics. Mm. Anyway, Coach Jack, I must give you a call this morning. You're one of the few men who have stood behind West Indies. Coach Jack in River Street. I must give you a call because some of them, when you're doing well, oh, they're with you. But when things are going wrong, they are quick to turn their back on you. I'm not one of those. When I'm with you, I'm with you for the long haul, not for the short haul. I'm in it. I'm always standing. Just as you see, I'm a labor right. I'm there for the long haul. There will be critics. There will be good times and there will be bad times. And we have to understand that's the nature of the game. But I am standing in the corner of West Indies and I'm predicting a whitewash. Stop. Uh, since yesterday, I tell you, stop saying that. You know. <laughs> and anyway, it's not no whitewash. It's a black wash. <laughs> oh, what a black wash. <laughs> so be it. But stop saying that. No, uh, I, I'm not. One I, game at a time. No. Let us take it one game at a time. I agree with you. We have won the series. Time to go for the kill. We That's our problem. We do not have the killer instinct anymore. Huh? We do not have the killer <laughs> instinct. Man need a hundred runs of one ball and Michael Holder would still put a bouncer in your tail, you know. Oh, for instance, Malcolm Marshall. <laughs> would still, you would have to be diving oh, for Jack, cover. You have to dive for No cover. way you can win. But man. I must say, the team, man, I must say, so well, and the young captain. Puran for captain? Uh, Puran looks good. Puran for captain? For the future. <laughs> for the future. <laughs> On the local line, good morning. I can barely hear, hear you, my, my friend. friend. Hold on, hold on. Let's try this. On the local line, good morning. No, 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 no. You no. have to call us back. <laughs> you have to call us back. We can barely hear what you're saying. Right. And you see, when you have youth mm. emerging, <laughs> it reminds me politically, <laughs> when young people start to put blows on you, mm. blows on you, <laughs> 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 you, 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 you say intuitive, but, but blows on you. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about it. But, but I must say, I must say that, um, yes, I, 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 I have seen all three games so far, except on um the first game i turned off after a while i thought well, they were not going to do it i can tell you well, that i stood on yeah I, I turned off the in television fact, I had after a, bet. a while uh -huh. i had a bet in the jackson shop mm -hmm. i told them we were going to win the game uh -huh. they told me i'm a madman and you, you collected on your bet man, man like to bet man i collected man <sighs> when i left there I, I even thought i would not get home <laughs> 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 but but Jyoti, good morning. Can't be with us this morning. Jyoti, good morning. You play your cut your style yesterday and play all kind of um what they call it? All kind of way on us, cutting style. The only thing he didn't do for us yesterday was car away. Yeah. Uh-huh. So I hope you watched the game last night. Yeah. Probably all that that have you I this think. morning. <laughs> Monday night you had a few. <laughs> yes, yes. But anyway, 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 let me congratulate the West. First series win against Australia since in any format since 1995. First time winning more than two matches since in a series since 1995. And I wish the team well, success. And let's go for the World Cup. Let's make it three. 
Let's make it three World Cups. Let's make it three World Cups. You know, you are, when you have a niche, you, you go for it. Of you course. exploit it. We still have work to do on the test and one-day teams. But if these guys are playing 20, 2020, they should probably play one day, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, but anyway, Bryn, have fun. Well, this game called Cricket was the ace in the hand, but the day they're back in the school and I think they know they got the rest in the fun for them, they got the rest in the them rude boys gonna get you by degrees, they got the rest in the I think they know they got the rest in the fun for them, they got the rest in the them bad boys gonna bring you to your knees, they got the rest in the and when you're facing the general, nearly every ball is a funeral, and when we back and brother go and put your men on the boundary. Just for Britain this morning, his West Indies song, you know. <laughs> I know he would cut, he came there with you, know? <laughs> but I took in front this morning, so I wouldn't be in any, any trouble. And you did the right thing. <laughs> <laughs> A partner calling sick, he said he can't make it, but yeah. we uh, we found out why. Yeah, we found out <laughs> we why. Found out I know why. He's, listening. he's listening, you know. We found out why this morning that he couldn't make it here this morning. <laughs> Some guys <laughs> he I came know. there yesterday, all kind of styly, not know, talking I about know. it, you not talking about But I knew since ahead. he had journeyed down to Kalibishi by the time he came back, mm-hmm. he'd be badly wounded. I know that. For mm, a well, fact. well, he shouldn't have journeyed that far. No man, he, he had to. He had some <laughs> obligations <laughs> to fulfill. But he went beyond yeah, the obligations. Well, you know, you so know him. You know, take what you get, Judy. He <laughs> likes to play Jen. <laughs> <laughs> He likes to play Jen coming and talk about Whitey Kubuli National <laughs> Trail. <laughs> ah, la, <sala. laughs> the man not there. Let's leave him alone. <laughs> for tomorrow when he yes. come there. Before we come up this step, we get our life history. <laughs> Brent, I have something to talk about this morning. Yesterday, I experienced some very strange activity through my telephone. Where from about 9 a.m., when I tried to make a call up till after six, I got all circuits are busy now. Once I tried to call a number, I'm not going to say my service provider, but I tried to call and I got all circuits are busy now. If a company is experiencing difficulty, they have to tell people, look, this is the case. We're experiencing, uh, simple, you know, we're experiencing some difficulties. We're trying to rectify it. Please, bear with us. But you can't be making call, where, whatever number you try to call, all circuits are busy now. Recently, I've also noticed that you try to call, cannot complete this call because of problems on the other network. Okay? And I think in 2021... These phone companies, these telecoms companies have to do better than that. Okay? And I agree. One seems to be doing it more than the other one. My pakaki, no. But they have to get their act correct. Mm-hmm. Mills has something called Consumer Rights Association mm-hmm. here yeah, in yeah. Scotland. These Consumer are the things protection. all you should be looking mm-hmm. at. These are the things all you should be looking at, this Consumer Protection Association, whatever it is. And I know, Mills, you're listening, okay? This is what you should be looking at. The consumers having problems in certain areas, whether it's utilities, whether it's expired products. Uh, these are, this is what you should open up the consumer protection thing mm-hmm. about. Mm-hmm. Well, I open know. up a line. Just one, one line. Yeah. Open up a line for complaints. Your yeah. consumer protection. How does a consumer get to you? And one day we'll bring Mills into the studio and ask him some questions. You About know. that, yeah. yes, we'll bring him in to ask him some questions. But I just think I had to say this morning that you have a telephone, 
and everywhere you go if your telephone everywhere these days you know people cannot call you and you say you were not home you know mm-hmm. you go if your telephone everywhere and you call and i'm not one that likes this whatsapp call business i call you I have a telephone i pay for my phone i call you directly so i can connect okay so when i make my call i expect to go through i don't expect to hear all circuits are busy now or cannot connect because of problems on other network all sorts of excuse well not only that mr mills i'm putting your notice the consumers are coming in for some heavy blows from some of these utility companies they're raising their prices unilaterally mm-hmm. and you suddenly see your bill moving from one to the next some of them you did not make a call to london you're finding that your telephone bill has so many calls to London, New York, Moscow, even China. And they're drawing on that. So, Mr. Mills, do your work. Also, not only the consumers, some financial institutions are just raising on you. Raising on you. When you go and look, you're just seeing... That if you had a hundred, you're down to ninety. Somewhere along the line, ten dollars was halved, and you have no idea where it went to, where it, where it went into space. So, Mister Mills and the consumers need to be protected from this type of outrage, and some of them have their debate between interconnection and the passing it on the consumer they have their war there is no redress for consumers when the day come before you wake up in the morning your service is cut but when your service is off for hours on end do you get monies off your bill <laughs> and people have been saying that for years okay I heard the other day that one organization had to come out and say, look, this company was doing this and this was wrong. They should stop. But strangely, I heard later the company saying, even if you pay your bill, some of you may have paid your bill and your service is off. These are the things. This is inconvenient. Mm -hmm. If you pay your bill and your service off, this is very inconvenient to you, know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I also know that there's one company you go. You have to go by one person to get your balance. Go by another person to get your account number. And then come and pay your bill. Or they have a machine where you can pay your bill. You pay, you pay your bill. You have your receipt, you know. Your service is still disconnected. Because somehow that machine which is inside the office, has not communicated that your bill is paid. How can that happen? No, yeah. man. How can that happen, man? The Ebe machines... Ebe Kisa need... Mills... Cafe, no? Cafe, no? Huh? Like Mills cafe. South Cafe, <laughs> Consumer Protection <laughs> Agency. All the other time you call in, <laughs> you today don't you don't want to call you, Fred? <laughs> your interconnection. Mills South Cafe? <laughs> Sao Cafe, no? Huh? Okay, All you yeah. have, Consumer Protection Agency. Consumers Capale. Hmm. Open an office in Roseau so consumers can come and tell you what's their problem. And and what is happening there? You have this standard price if a, of a commodity. <laughs> by the time you reach the commodity, it was ten dollars. It got by twelve dollars. Me, just like that. Huh? Another thing I find, even when you go to buy fish, the thing is supposed to be at a certain price. All of a sudden. If it's supposed to be eight dollars for dolphin, <laughs> next morning when you wake up, is twelve dollars for dolphin. It's so it is now. There has to be some regulators around the place regulating, and fellas go around and look at the thing. Sometimes you have old corn beef, and you the corn beef still selling. Good, good morning, <laughs> Mister Mills. Not Mr. Mills. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> if you see him, tell him you, you, you and him from the same area. <laughs> yeah. Tell him we're looking for him. We're looking for him. Uh, he, he, but he, he listening, man. He listening. No, I know, but he's afraid to call today. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> no, no, you, you have the, the um that company there. Not only Mr. Don't Mills. call your name. No no names. Don't huh? call your names. No, no name, no, no warrant. No, I am not calling no 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 provider company. 
and then I'm calling the R R R, R, R what's the name? IRC and NTRC. R- one R- regulates R- electricity, one R- regulates telecoms. NTRC well, telecoms, IRC electricity. Well, the one for telecoms. Mm-hmm. I can't send customers coming to you. You say you need more name. You need, you need more 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 people to come in to to to. to well, partner, the the guys operate on the law. You know, I know an incident the other day where somebody uh-huh. complained that they they had an adjustment in their bill they did not know about and mm-hmm. they were uh they they paid their normal bill and i think they were owing uh, just a few dollars more and they were told that they would be disconnected and they no, went that- they went to the regulatory authority they filed a complaint and the regulatory commission set in and their bill was not disconnected because there was a complaint so i know when complaints are made they are they are pursued by the the regulatory authority okay well, that, 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 is, that is one that person was was lucky but there, there are several people when they go to that company to pay their bill and they get to know that they they, they, they are increased in the payment of their bill mm-hmm. and they say well that's what i have they were disconnected they were no disconnected. but have they filed a report it's not just go there and say more day there is my bill what are you doing no you have to sit down and file a report okay. and that sort of thing have the, has the procedure been followed well, 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 no. Uh, exactly. Person, so that what? Person, fr- that person, that person, do not know exactly where that building, that, that office is located. But O D, they, they went to the person. Oprah, no, you no, just I said they go to I the said, person. I said that particular person. Well, well, I'm telling. No you man, I going to case. call Prosper for I'm, you. I'm, I'm telling of one case. Uh huh. Uh huh. Daryl, 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 there are lots of people. Who that is that why I am calling day. on the the Mills Association. Yes. Maybe it's easier for people to go to them, and they okay. in turn we'll file. can file. Probably, if ten people go to them and they represent, look, we are the Consumer Protection Agency, and we mm-hmm. represent Mr. Brain, Ma Rose, this person, Oprah, and they have come to us with this complaint. Take it to what is problem. going on? And they do right. something and then they can advise the people who have sought redress from them and act as a collective on behalf of all these people. That's right. Okay, well, that, that's, that's what I'm that saying. Is, that's okay. the way but, it should but, be done. But, but really, really, and truly, really, 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 Brenda, I, I think too, too, too many companies, they, they ride it on the people's back. You know, you, 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 I just said earlier on there, because yes, yes, I think yes, I was trying to make a call. I think we can, uh, all circuits are busy now. Yeah. So can, mm-hmm. I mean, come on. And at the end of the month, just cutting off people, no, no, no compensation for for, for what, mm-hmm. what the person lost. Because when you lost, you're taking from the people. And when the people lost, the people are get, getting from you. Right, right. And, and, Oprah, on, and Oprah, whilst you're there, another thing I would like to raise here on the island is the insurance companies. Yes. They have a very ha- a, a kind of a habit where they have those sm- small prints. You have to use telescope to see it not only not only not only, not only hmm. the, and, the, the and when you do company and when you yeah. look daryl and the time come for you to get your largest my goodness me mm-hmm. you have been told but look uh, at the fine print and when you not, look you're not covered not now only, really not, only, not only the insurance company the, the 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 providers also they have a fine print you're not seeing well you have to read partner if you cannot read <laughs> but, make somebody read it for you it is but it is so small it is so small for a magnifying glass <laughs> you need that mm-hmm. come on man come Amen. on anyway, again mills and them mills and educate them. the people on the fine print <laughs> <laughs> anyway <laughs> mills and your kids this morning yeah. you cannot have consumer protection right. agency okay and consumers cannot be protected, protected by them. Yeah. You that go and say that is the name of your agency. You know? you know, yes. I cannot just open a building and say it's a hospital. People will, when they see hospital <laughs> on the building, they, <laughs> they'll come there for medical attention. Attention. So if you have consumer protection agency, then then protect the consumers. consumers yes. Okay, okay. and okay. that should be in your DNA yeah. to protect. People, protect you people. and the people I heard <laughs> in this agency, you all are known for protecting police, former police. environmental health, <laughs> and, and this sort of thing. Yes. You are known for protecting, so it's in your the DNA Scotland's man. already. Let me call them the Scotland's and them, it man. is in your DNA. DNA man. <laughs> and then you have to look at you have to look at things like customer service. Yes, you cannot go in a store where you're spending your money, and people want to jiwe you. People want to tell you, uh, no man, no, we man. have to change. If we are moving forward with dynamic Dominica, there are some personal 
attitude changes that must come into effect right right okay right let, let me see you hold, oh, hold on on the overseas <laughs> line let, let me see <laughs> mr mills good morning hello good morning ah uh, it's not him not good him. morning ma'am how are you i am good how are you how are you this i'm morning? going to that same problem there mm -hmm. a certain yeah. a certain company in talk mm -hmm. very good company mm -hmm. i my bill is 115 every month mm -hmm. my internet bill when I went to pay my bill, the lady tell me I'm weighing, I have $20 for the bill. So I got $20 for what? Because my current bill is $150. She tell me, oh, you didn't know that we upgrade and then you have a fee to pay. I said, I never know anything about that. She tell me, oh, everybody was notified. I tell her, no, I would not get any text from you all. Nobody notified me. Oh, everybody got, got a notification. I tell her I cannot pay twenty dollars. I don't have any twenty dollars to, to give all you know. Put it on my other bill. She tell me if you're not paying it, we'll just going to your service. I don't have what I ask you to put it on my other bill. I will pay it on the other bill. I don't have a problem with that. I don't have extra money. Daryl, the time I reach home, my service was disconnected, and I refuse to pay. I'm not paying it. Well, there are different forms of protest. I can tell you this. My last bill the one before that was paid in coins 25 cents and they stood there and they counted i found some redress in that that's what i did okay, okay. all right <laughs> but i you take your stance and then you can go to the ntrc madam if yeah. you did not um if you did not um get notification, get notification and then you go to the ntrc and you file a complaint okay, okay. where is the ntrc are located? they not in the ministry no? I, finance they are located in the um where they call this i think it's in the perkis building you know perkis i think so one of them in uh, no 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 it is in the um charles building oh charles drugstore you yeah. know where that is Yes. Yes, it's upstairs, upstairs. there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, upstairs at the back. The IRC is yeah. in the top. Yes, top, right on top. top. On top. Uh, okay. okay, thank you. All right. Okay, yeah. good, good, good. So, folks, you can take up your claims and you can go to the the, the regulatory authority. Mm -hmm. On the overseas line, good morning. Good morning, Mr. Tate. Good morning. Good morning, good morning Auntie. Auntie. Um, the brain and Joe, good morning. Good morning. Joe is not there today. Oh, He's still yeah, drunk from right. last night. West Indies win. <laughs> West Indies. <laughs> hey, them old man. You know, sometimes it's the moon. The moon. Sometimes when the moon um, <laughs> up. You know, they just be up. So that's why West Indies win. Go ahead. Uh, uh, that is a very interesting to topic of you are on there, um, Mr. Pitt. You know, I find our uh, telecom provider in Dominica, we don't have to do our people justice at all. I come on, in my view, they just bully the people. Because the men, they sell the same telephone company they have in Dominica. That is what we have here. And Mr. Tate, I am paying 55 euro a month for mm -hmm. my, my phone. Bill. I have all international and local calls free. I give, they give me 50 gig of internet. Mm -hmm. And um, when your phone mash up, they fix your phone. You every twenty fifth, and they give you ten days after. Every twenty fifth, you gotta pay, and they give you ten days after. You can pay your. They give you ten days for the latest after to pay your bills. I find it as a door people just that every year I entitle for a new phone. Mm -hmm. So that is and then it's the same thing. I does it's the same name. It's the same thing. It's the same company they have i don't know if it's different owners my friend it doesn't do what people do I, 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 you behave yourself <laughs> <Auntie. laughs> um, all right okay then <laughs> yeah all right yeah. auntie and hold on, hold on, hold on, yes hold on, go ahead and the people are inter in the people are in charge of internet in dominica we live down the people in christian that deserve internet hmm. for so long we can't get internet what is the problem anyway <laughs> That's a, no, a whole other topic. All right. Yes. <laughs> but, but, okay, yeah. then, Auntie, you have but, a good but, morning. Mm. Yeah, well, well, let's take this final call on the local line to close up this topic. On the local line, good morning. Yes, Daryl, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Comrade Brent, Comrade Brent. Well, like a chibi, 
Mr. Akonto. Okay, but I hope you're reading my WhatsApp. Oh, you're reading all of your st- <laughs> teach. I'm reading everything you send to me. Yeah, I'm um, Daryl. Another irritating. You have WhatsApp now. Yes, yeah. I what's up. Yeah, yeah. The man picture is not his tie, you know, his red shirt and his tie. So, so maybe I put out his secret. I put out his secret. <laughs> there is another thing that's irritating. You call a company and you want some information. And they have a receptionist and they tell you, okay, I'm going to put you on to, and they put you on to someone. It rings, it rings, it rings, it rings, nobody answers. Then you call back the receptionist and say, I didn't get from They tell me, okay. And then you get in a voice telling you, Nobody is available to take your call. Please call again. So it means every time I have to keep calling. Well, that's so ridiculous. They should have a system in place that when those things call, it should be monitored so that when whoever it is comes in, they call you and tell you, I understood you're trying to get in contact with me. But they, they don't care. And, and the other thing is, I don't, you said don't call names. When I no have names. Do names. No, no names. Don't call names. Okay, I, I agree with that. Hmm? When I have to do my surgery recently, I said, boy, this is a major surgery. You never know what can happen. Mm-hmm. Let me go and make sure everything is in order. I went to an institution where I have an insurance. I have mm-hmm. other insurance. Just to make sure everything is okay, my beneficiary and what have you. So I went to that insurance and tell them, look, I have an insurance here. But strangely enough, whereas I, have a, whereas I have a policy with the other insurance, how come I have no policy with you all? I, I find that's not normal. To me, I should have a policy I can pass on to my beneficiary so they can know what to benefit. The people tell me, no, I don't need that. If, my, if I pass out, my beneficiary just come and give that to them. You find that song so ridiculous? Not, and a popular institution, you know, very popular. Man, uh, you know, is, one thing I've learned about these things, you get everything in writing. You're right, eh? in documentation. <laughs> you know that, teach documentation. Mm. All exactly. Right? That, that's what I mean. I, but, and funny enough, I have been in that institution for the longest while, and they have that thing going on. For, and I wasn't, I wasn't aware that they don't have a policy for that, and it's an insurance mm-hmm. scheme. And I, I don't know who, somebody should look into that, and I don't know who I should go to, because they, they need to make sure mm. that the people have a policy in their hand to know their benefits. In mm. fact, look at, look at the case. When I did check, the policy I was paying for, um, it was not what I was going to benefit if anything had happened to me, because I was done for a lower fall, because they are three categories, and I am in the middle. But they had me done for the lowest one, which was not what I was paying for, and they had to rectify that. Now, supposing that something had happened to me, it means my beneficiary would have, would have been getting something lower than what I was paying mm-hmm. for, so that's not right. They should have a policy. Mm-hmm. They should have a policy. Yeah, they must. They not should. They must. Yeah, they must. Well, the correct word is must. And they I must. I, I need to address that. You know, I don't know why. Because why does I say I'll go to the manager to ask them what is wrong with that? Why don't they have a policy? Mm-hmm. Well, and I'm giving Mr. Mills up to the end of the week. Yeah. to address it Did what you? is his cpa yeah. consumer protection yeah. agency doing yeah. Yeah. if yeah. not yeah. i will tell people to call him yeah. okay yeah. so yeah. Exactly. all right okay. thank you teach. okay teach yeah. you have okay, a have very good morning Eight forty-three is the morning time mr mills i guess you're probably busy this morning and you were unable to call so we look forward to the time when you'll be able to engage us on what is the consumer protection agency doing for consumers oh, may, in Dominica. Maybe Mr. Mills may be doing some research. Maybe, on the, maybe. On the issue of treating. Well. <laughs> <laughs> God, don't forget, he was a former Fame prosecutor. Way. He may be doing some research Fame on treating. Way. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? No, treating. But you know, it's interesting you brought up treating, you know. What is that? Brain. What is treating? Brain. People are confused. How can you take people to court Accuse them of a crime. Ever umem pakonet what treating is. But that's what I'm saying. Huh? How can you do that? And when the case is thrown out, it is dismissed. It is discontinued, whatever you say. Mm-hmm. You coming on radio and making threats to people? A senior policeman. Senior. Not no constable. Not no village special constable or rural constable. Mm -hmm. You, a senior policeman who gave evidence in a case, admitted that after the case was discontinued, you did not know what the offense was. You had no idea. But that is serious. You don't understand? So what are you going for? You do not know what the case is. 
and then you predicate your accusation, your lies, your vulgarity, your threats of violence, your, incis your inciting. You predicate that on oh you did not receive justice when you did not know what you were seeking justice for you claim that you went to a concert and that caused you not to even vote for yourself first of all Daria, mm -hmm. when you are talking about a person who doesn't understand the meaning of the word treating is the person no we have to do something which we do in education it's called clinical psychology. We have to analyze to see whether the person has any previous mental issues. Because if you do not understand the meaning of what you're going to court for, it means that you are psychotic. There's something wrong with your brain. You are either suffering from illusion, either you're suffering from delusion. Merci ou pas vous, méchasté. Or you are a wicked person. You are mischievous. Because certainly you cannot be going to the courts to ask for redress without understanding what you're going there for. You, you know, that's going to the court and bring a complaint that you were treated. Somebody treated mm -hmm. you. You and, and you say, you yourself me. that's saying that, you know, you're that telling, happened to me. You're telling the magistrate, I was treated. Sir, I was treated by brain. Mm -hmm. The magistrate is asking you, do you understand the charge? Do you understand why you brought Mr. Adams there? Sir, I don't know. You have to guide me. You, you, you folks, let, let me apologize for playing Nicholas George for you two mornings in a row. But this is the what the UWP stands for. You all make noise. Noise. The government brought this thing, the Labour Party, not the government, the Labour Party in this instance, brought this thing to the CCJ to get clear directives from the court that it had jurisdiction. Only to find out you did not know what you were bringing the people before the court for? Is this some kind of a joke? Huh? For seven years, people like Catherine Daniel, okay? Yes. Mrs. Charles. Okay. People like Rayburn Blackmore, a former policeman, Prime Minister Skerritt, Honorable Austri, people who would never hear their name called in court three times to come to answer charges. This hung over the people's head only to find out that this wicked party had no idea what they were bringing before the court. You don't believe me? You, you, you don't believe me? I don't believe you. Listen. The, the, the judgment, the, 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 uh, the other part is the, the judgment coming out of that case, if it had gone to trial, would have advised us almost definitively what is treated. Because that section is under consideration by Sir, By Sir Byron, and I hope it is under consideration by Sir Byron, in determining whether we have treating in our jurisdiction. And so therefore, it is in the public interest to have had a judicial statement made and that it clarified through an entire process whether treating was committed or not and what are the essential elements required for the offense of treating. Huh? The man Marty, no, he lied. Come on, man. The man lied. The big this, man lied. This, this thing The is senior going. police officer lied. This thing, he purged himself. This is going too far, man. You did not know, you know what, what treating was, was. But you charged 15 people with treating <laughs> private criminal complaints. You, Nicholas George, were a witness claiming you were treated. Huh? You heard a gospel concert and you did not vote for yourself. And then you have the audacity to say you did not know what you were waiting for the court to tell you what is you, treated? For them to, to direct you? Bagwis. No, man. Joke is joke. And then you turn around and you issue threats to the police, threats to people, based on what you do not know? <laughs> no, uh, it's a joke now?
Th- this is some kind of, of of comedy. But this is this is madness. Huh? This is not a comedy. This is a man that is gone off his rockers. Because you cannot tell me you want judicial review on treating, and you have your lawyers. You go into the court. You go before you go to court to to file a complaint. You first have to go to your lawyer, and say, "Boy, I would like to bring 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 up there for treating you." You <laughs> admitted you have no metal, because one little concert you hear, and you lost all confidence in your own self. So you admitted that. You have no metal, you have no fortitude, you have no decency. Because a concert you heard, you lost confidence in yourself, you Nicholas George, right, a but, senior policeman. But he passed and he looked at posters on telephone posts. Mm-hmm. Because no, normally poli- um, um, political parties put their... The announcements from yes, you put you put your your poster or you, you put, put a picture media, of your candidate in social media. You, you can see, get this thing, yes, right. So you're passing by those telephone posts and you saw a picture of Catherine Daniel, mm-hmm. Lady Daniel, and you just run to a polling station and vote for Catherine Daniel. That's what you see, and, and your name that on the ballot, eh? <laughs> your name Mr. that on the ballot. Man. The man is a madman, no man, and then. You come there and you say, you say that you did not know what treating was and you're waiting for the court to tell you. But he's even going further. He wants (laughs) Sir Dennis Byron to tell him. Play it. The the, uh, the other part is the the judgment coming out of that case, if had gone to trial, would have advised us almost definitively what is treating. Because that section is under consideration by Sir, By- Sir Byron, and I hope it is under consideration by Sir Byron, in determining whether we have treating in our jurisdiction. And so therefore, it is in the public interest to have had a judicial statement made and that it clarified through an entire process whether treating was committed or not and what are the essential elements required for the offensive treaty are the essential, essential elements but when, good you, English. when you bring a charge against somebody you don't have to have essential elements as to why the person why you charge but the if there are no like, essential ele- elements in law charge there is no case if their elements are not present then why are you going to the courts to waste its time you are not aware that you have the elements and you're going to bring 15 men to and women to the courts mm-hmm. are you not mad how did mr ever get promoted mr ever tried I, anything no, in the I, courts on, on the overseas line good morning good morning daryl good morning Brad. Good, good morning. morning good morning good morning good morning to Jyoti. um i hope you feel better yeah that, daryl i mean this this is the kind of comedy that that is the workers party and um, there, there's also another audio that um, I got sent to you. Um, Mr. Nicholas George was on on um, on uh, talking point yesterday. Well, Cecil Joseph called him yesterday to um, because there was callers calling in and um, showing their disgust at Mr. Nicholas's utterances. And um, Cecil Joseph called him and, and asked him, you know, about those statements. And Mr. Nicholas George, um, he, he, he tried to avoid, and, well, he avoided answering, addressing his, his statement. But he went, he, he went on, a, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a on a case of what about him, you know, try to deflect and try to, and, and, and try to wiggle his way out of it. And he says, he says that um, there's no justice in, in Dominica for a certain few. And Cecil asked him to explain. And Nicholas George said that, um, well, uh, Mr. Edding Consent Val, um, the, the DPP did not um, send him a, a not, not sorry, his, his lawyer. The DPP didn't send a, a, a notice to his lawyer. So the DPP did not extend the courtesy to Mr. Senval. But as far as I, underst- I understand from, from, credit, from good sources, is the DPP didn't know who who was who was his his lawyer. 
You know, these guys were these guys were, you know, in a in a state of confusion. Um, Karasilin Ford had 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 abandoned them, and um, they didn't didn't have any lawyer. As far as the DPP knew, they had no no no, no lawyer, right? So Mr. Mr. Senba himself was served, was notified. But Nicholas Judge, Nicholas Judge's issue, or he or, or, or he, he defines the lack of justice. He, he said in his own words, because the DPB didn't extend the courtesy to Mr. Senval, the courtesy, or, or to Mr. Senval's lawyer. So I'm saying, if, if Nicholas Judge understands what courtesy is, you know. Then he, he he wouldn't be making this, this this ridiculous case, claiming lack of justice, right? Because a, a courtesy is not an obligation. That's his own words, you know. A courtesy is not an obligation. So how how can you how can you go as far as inciting violence, threatening the police, or or, or making threats to the police, and saying well? There will not be enough weapons to 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 to, to stop the stop whatever you know they have planned, right? And Mr. Nicholas George, if if you are saying that police doesn't have enough weapons and ammunition to stop your your your, your violent prospects, then are you telling me that I, I I are you saying that you know something that we don't know? Are you are you telling me that you know of 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 places where there, 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 there are weapons that 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 exceed what the police have in the capacity. You know, this, I mean, he he got to answer these questions because I mean, you know, it, it it is just reckless, and we really cannot continue to have people making these kind of statements in the public. We can't. We have to. We have to, you know, appreciate that Dominica is a very peaceful country. Right? Dominica is a peaceful country. Dominicans have law abiding citizen citizens and nobody desires to see any, any war in their country. Especially especially when you have, you know, a country that has come so very far, that overcome so many great challenges. Right? When when we see, you know, prospects of 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 of, of, of a glorious tomorrow. We don't we, we don't we don't need those things in our country. We see things happening in Haiti and and, and things happening in America and er, er, everybody is, is 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 talking about it and and, and and saying how bad it is. So how 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 can we want that in our country? And Mr. Nicholas Judge, as 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 a former police officer of a high ranking level, is a disgrace to the police force. A disgrace for a police officer to be making this, this kind of statement. Right, knowing how knowing how difficult the task of the police is, you were there. Right, and the Workers' Party has a habit. They have a habit. I, I don't know if they believe that they are immune to 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 to, to they are immune to the law or, or immune to effects of the law. Right, or they are they are, they, are, they are immune to any to any adverse act, acts against them. Because if anything happens to them, they have to go to the same police. But they're constantly bashing the police. They are constantly bashing the police, accusing them of all, all, all sorts of, of, of evil, harassing the police, cursing the police. We, we, we saw, we saw, we, we've seen all the videos and, and, and heard all the audios. They have no respect for the, for, for the law. Right? And Nicholas Judge is helping to facilitate this. He should know better. He should know better, and he and he's a, he, he's he's a leader of the Workers Party on the Workers Party. He's a PRO. He was once president, I think. Isn't he the president now, or something, general secretary, or something like that? He, he, he has, has a an, senior position. He has a in the senior party. executive position. Okay. He, he he does. He has. You know. So I mean, I mean, but but that but that that is just the Workers Party cannot get out of their own way. They cannot get out of the turmoil. Right, just when you think that they've they, they, they've gone low enough, they surprise they, they surprise you, you know. And it, it, I, I mean, I, I really didn't expect to hear from Nicholas George, you know. And and then and then and then he he, he brings, you know, 
this guy's playing. What about him? What about him? You know, he says, well, what about the, the prime, the prime minister, the prime minister, um, um, made a comment about, um, when, when you see, when you see them, see them, you know, on the, on the street or in a store, call him traitor. Right. And to, and to him, that was inciting violence against him. But he, do, he cannot know what he's inciting if he don't know what he's treating. Yeah. But, but, but guess what? Cecil Joseph asked him. So since, since the Prime Minister said that, has anybody called traitor? He said no. Mm. Not one person has called him traitor. Right? But, 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 but yes, still Daryl. That was set up on, on, a, on a platform. Mm -hmm. I, I remember these, these guys these, that had, had um, killed Brock down here and have, um, have him hosting him and these guys writing stories about Dominica. Mm -hmm. Now, now if, if, you are, if you are inviting foreigners to come to degrade and, and, and demean, demean your country, that you are, you are indeed a traitor. You understand? Know and and that, 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 no, no, nobody, said, no, nobody said to anybody to go, when you see Nicholas George, he, give him a slap in his face or throw a rock at him. You know, it's a call a traitor. And, and you, you are indeed a traitor. You behave like a traitor. You know? But to him, that was incentive of violence. You know? But then, you are telling the police that they don't have enough guns and ammunition for when we're ready for you. We will take the law in our own hands. You know? And I don't understand. I don't understand, honestly, why Nicholas George has not been picked up by the police. I don't understand it, you know, and, and I think this, this is something that we really need to examine. You know, people, are, we always, we always sometimes take things for granted. We always, we, we always, you know, are so, are so, are so lackadaisical, right? And, 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 and this has opened the room for this, for this worker party to say whatever they want on the radio, right? I, 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 there's a video, an, an, an audio once when, when, they were, when they were outside um, the parliament where I heard blessings telling a police, a police, man, a police officer that in, in all your house you have to burn all you, you know. Live on audio. In all your house you have to burn all you, you know. And nobody has arrested blessings, you know. But that, 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 that is just me venting and, and, and giving my opinion. The police has a job to do, and I, I and I hope I hope they will they will take the right action because <laughs> it is it is dangerous, it is reckless, it is threatening, and it is giving people ammunition and fuel to go out and create and, and commit violence when people in in this position who are supposed to act responsibly talk like this, right? They are they are they, they are sending red meat to their supporters to go out. And commit violence, and we know they are they they, they, they they are prone to doing this. We've seen them do it over mm -hmm. and over, over mm -hmm. and over again, mm -hmm. over and over again, right? So something must be done, and I think the police must question Mr. Nicholas George. But that's my opinion. I thank agree you with you, much, Darryl. Thank you, Brain. Have a great day. And Darrell, have a good day yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. I'm just doing pull up a little research. There. The House of Assembly Election Act, Chapter Two. Point zero one, section fifty six, definition of treating. So there's a whole. So it's clear in the in the, in the yeah, laws of very, Dominica. It's very very much in the law. And you don't have to wait for no court to define the, it. Treating, for you. treating the fallen persons shall be deemed guilty within the meaning of this act. Every person who corruptly by himself or by any other person, either before, during, or uh, after an election, directly or indirectly, gives provides or pay wholly or in part the expenses of given, giving or providing any food, drinks, entertainment, or provision to or for any person for the purpose of corruptly influencing the person or any other person to vote or to refrain from voting at an election or on account of that a prison term is what you get. So he knows it's on there. On the local, but I have a question for Nicholas George. But after this call, on the local line, good morning. Good morning, comrade. Good morning. Good morning, good morning comrade. Good morning. It's nice seeing you. Discussion, nice. Let me tell you, I, I, I'm, I'm sure bring, well, a while ago, bring touches. I'm not too sure if he developed it. But did I hear properly that when Nicholas asked for Sir Dennis Byron for him um, to, to define and explain, you know, I'm um, treating. Yes, he, he did. He did. He did. He did. Is that the same Dennis Barron that they said that they will not appear before because yes. he's doing a, a job for, for scary? 
Yeah, because he's a hatchet man for Mr. Scary. Yes, you know, and today you ask him, you know, you on your knees begging that you, you, you hope, you hope he comes with a definition for tricking. And are you right? How can I take you to court and I do not know what I am taking to court for? You know? No. On the issue of, of the numbers of the police and and the and the strength of the police and the armaments or equipment of the police, is that is that freedom of speech? Is that what you know what we do with our freedom of speech? We can jeopardize the security of the country because we think we have freedom of speech. We can say what we want. You know, is that how we practice our democracy? And the and the point, the further point is that. Nicholas George has to understand that people can read, people can write. The matter has been in court for seven years, and you only filing a report, a witness report, seven years after, seven years after, after the magistrate gave a deadline for disclosures. That is when you went and hastily put something together. Oh, I think it is dated. It is dated in May. So what are you talking about? How can anybody take it seriously, Mr. George? And your and your and Malady from St. Joe. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Good you. morning. You're very Good right, caller. You. But but I have a question for Nicholas George. What is that question, comrade? Does he know anybody by the name of Father Joseph Keys? Oh my. Does he know anybody by the name of Father Joseph Keys? And if he knows was this father joseph keys stationed in Coliho in the early 70s now if you do not know what is treating nicholas george do you know what is wounding huh does the court have to define for you what is wounding do you know anything about wounding okay i just want to place these questions of record to nicholas george does he know anybody by the name of Father Joseph Keys who operated in Colliho in the early 1970s? And if he, Nicholas George, he doesn't know what he's treating, but does he know what is wounding? Okay? And does he know what are the essentials of wounding? Elements. That the elements of wounding that charges have to be brought against someone for wounding ask uh, answer those questions for us nicholas george because you the upakonet kiss as a treating <laughs> the elements. but do you know what is wounding and did you have do you know did you have any interaction with anybody by the name of father joseph keys in particular in the year 1972 in Coliho? on the local line good morning yeah good morning guys good morning yeah Bryn, how are you? good morning yes uh, Darren, if you have that, that song, you can find that song, I Fall in a Trap, <laughs> I Can't Get Out. I want you to play that song as well as something, please. Okay, all right, I'll Thank look you. for it. All oh, right. Oh, well, well, well Daryl, to file a charge of wounding, you'll have to know the essential elements. Of, of, of wounding? Of wounding, before okay. you bring it to the court. And if it, in particular, if it's filed by the police, it's not a private criminal matter. matter yes. The police would have to know what is wounding. So I, I want to know if this senior police officer, who worked both locally and regionally, knows anything about the essential elements of the charge of wounding. But more so... To a man of the frock, a priest. You do not joke with priests. Okay? You do not joke. Let pe shake their gong on you. Anyway, leave that there, <laughs> partner. Kite is all right. You come there. You do not know the essential elements, elements of treating. <laughs> but 15 people's lives were kept in limbo for seven years because you... And your cohorts decided to bring private criminal matters against people. And you did not know what the criminal charges. You did not know the definition of the charges. No. You have to wait for the court to tell you. But if you are charged for treating, you are barred from running for elections, you know, for seven years. So you put people's livelihood at stake for seven years. They're under stress, wondering what the courts will decide. And they have to pay for lawyers. There's a cost involved. Exactly, you know. People spent monies because they took the matter seriously while you thought of it as a joke. Because you did not know what it was. 
You claim you did. You were waiting for the court to tell you what it was. Hmm. And not only that, Daryl, uh, the government side had to bring Mr. Pilgrim from Barbados a QC Partner. and another QC for the training. Labor you know what that costing? Took the thing seriously. It wasn't a joke. The Labour Party believed that look, this thing was a waste of the court's time and went through the process. The CCJ sent the matter back to the magistrate's court where the magistrate's court had to hear the allegations, okay? It was a question of jurisdiction. The magistrate's court had to hear the allegation. The DPP came forward, asked for evidence. After you presented what you claim you had, the bundles. you say you <laughs> voted against <laughs> yourself. <laughs> the DPP decided, nah, man, the, cat, the court cannot go through that. The court cannot be subjected to that. And then you come in and say the court had to define for you what was written because who pa connect? Who pa connect? You don't hmm? know? You don't know? Hmm? But your case fell apart very early in the day when one left you stranded. Moving John Baptist left him stranded. He said, I'm not interested in that anymore. There is no evidence. I leaving the battlefield very early. And you, Mr. Senval, you're so brave enough, you continue. And when they asked you to present the bundles, present the bundles, present them, Mr. Nicholas George is bringing a bundle saying, I vote against myself because I was treated. And he's still telling the courts, I need an explanation for treating. This is the biggest joke. And he made the major statement of the year. We know what the police have. You think it's and a joke? We know what the equipment the police have. And this is this is taken That's lightly. Very dangerous. People threatening the children the, of the Prime Minister because of things you did not know what you're doing. Dorida, Tato Tato. On the local line, good morning. Good morning, Jay Darrell. Good morning. Mm -hmm. What does Nicholas George know about threatening police officers? What does Nicholas George know about inciting? Right? And I think really and truly the police need to call. Nicholas George in. Man, no, no, okay. I, police don't okay. need to call Nicholas George in. Police need to go and pick him up. Oh, Keep definitely. him what? under surveillance, pick him up. Yes. And if charges can be brought, bring the charges. If not, a serious, serious warning has to be given yes. to Nicholas George. Not by a constable, by a no, someone no, no. of superintendent and above. Have Practice. to talk to Mr. Very, very seriously. Because how can you say that the, the police haven't got um, arms? So when you know something, you were there, eh? you were there, oh, yeah. you know, where if the I is say the police haven't got arms, people <laughs> will laugh yeah, yes. me and ask Definitely. me how I know that. Right. But you, a senior, a man who was probably once in charge of the arms, you know, that is not information you have to give out to no, the you, public. You, how much you arms know the police have, or what e arms the police M16 have? Thing they have, whatever and, and you know. A man, a man, a man who wanted to be, I think, at the head of um, Caribbean, Caribbean security. In Barbados. A very dangerous statement, man made, man. Come on. A Come very, on. very dangerous. It must not be taken lightly. Morning again, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Uh -huh. And you're sending a threat to even the and commissioner? You, you know, the other day somebody said something about people who are allowed to read in church. <laughs> okay? Reading in church is a If theory. you beat a priest, Moji, you, you, you should be allowed to read in church. But how that can happen? But how, I how don't understand Vatican what is going happen? on there, you know. What is wrong with the Vatican? Huh? You beat a priest and you you're reading. You beat a priest and, and you're, you're allowed to read in church? You but stand the up Vatican on the pulpit? got slack, man. No, man, come on. Questions man. have to be asked of the Vatican. Joke is joke, you know, now. Joke is joke. You cannot be interfering and with the And you know what is, uh, in all of this, what concerns me the most is that out of all these admissions they didn't know what is treating i did not vote for myself because i heard a concert i see a poster you make threats to people and your supporters your followers use these words you see to threaten not only the life of the prime minister mr scarrett can take care of himself but his children his family putting pictures up of the man children this should and police are sitting down in the police station over there the headquarters 
sit down, all you still in, the place should be empty, rounding up these criminals. And people, you can, you all can say what you all want, you know, when I finish, say that. But this rubbish where we have allowed those guys to say what they want and people saying it's freedom of speech and all these things. You walking on the road, man threatening you under the guise of political fire and what have you. And the police are sitting down there. Nobody. He, a you heard a thing, but but you hear something. Somebody call you and tell you something that is not even true. You go and write stupid letter talking about fiscal responsibility. Mm. No, man. But no, but not only that. We were warned that the police themselves' lives are in danger. They were warned, you know, the next time they come down to Salisbury, stones will not be coming at them. Stones come back, come down at them this time. But you don't know what may be coming down on them the next time they come there. So you, these statements, when they make them, must not be taken for granted because we don't know whether there might be catches of weapons hidden somewhere for the next time. So we have to take those things seriously. Fellas might just be saying, well, that's a joke, man. That's idle talk, man. Don't worry about that, man. But you don't know where weapons are hidden, you know. In what section of the country those weapons are. As the senior minister say, Dominica have open ports, you know. Mm? Open ports, you know, where you can come in but and nah, come, go out. You beat priests, you mistreat your wife, only maledition. And you have to live with what happening to you. On the local line, good morning. Hi, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I am good. good. How are you? Good. I'm blessed. I saw a video, somebody released a video of you taking a little stroke. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You must tell oh. the person, don't put you out like that. <laughs> oh, no, no, my God. <laughs> taking and a I, little chip and, and I saw, And I saw the video. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, 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 morning. Mm -hmm. you, know, yes. um, you know, I've been listening to you all intently. My concern, Daryl, when I tell you, I'm very concerned. Um, Daryl, when I tell you, I'm very concerned. Um, I wouldn't go into Nicholas George's personal life or whatever because, you know, um, sometimes things happen and it's not the fault and circumstances. Um, but the information must be correct when we speak. Um, but I'm concerned about the statements he made about there's nothing of guns or enough men. That this is a person. If Clark John, for example, had said that, maybe I'll say he just, uh, on a regular John, he's just speaking. But a man who was deep in the bowels of the police force, at that rank, making that statement, Daryl, this is dangerous. It's, it's not only dangerous, but it speaks to the person not having any integrity. It would be like me as I was a local registrar, people resolve, know that I'm out there. I'm talking out, and if somebody had failed and thing, I'd be having that person name and saying, oh, that person didn't do that. Lack of integrity and professionalism. This is very bad. And I think maybe because this is a man who works with the regional forces. This is a man who was doing the logistics for operations when people had to come and know. You know, he has all the protocol. He has all the information. So this makes this statement exceedingly dangerous. And it's on that anger that I would talk about Nicholas George. Because this is frightening. Daryl? Events in the United States, events in Haiti, we cannot just glide over this. And these people, you know, they, they, these are the kind of things they like. These are the things that motivate them. Any negative situation, that's where they have the strength. I mean, as, we've been, as has been said earlier, these people went to the Polisario. We do not know what was their contract with these people. We do not know. Up to a day like today, we do not know. Daryl, they are afraid and frightened of the leadership of the government, the leadership of the Dominican Little Bus Party. But Daryl, what is frightening to me, this is a, a, a man, our leader. He has a family. He has young children. We have seen where these people went up there with a drone, as I've said already. We do not know what they went for. 
Gary, we cannot take these things lightly, and I think the police need to beef up their act, beef up this security, because too many things just pass by. Look at what happened February 7th. The day they had the demonstration and they said they'll stop when they want. After they signed, they said Nicholas George went to police to get the permission for the meeting. They told them when to stop. But when they got there, they said they will stop when they want and do what they want. And this has just passed. Look at what happened in Stones Breeze. When children at that time had to go and do their exam. They didn't care about the children. They didn't care about the future of the children. Even the raw students who had to go and do their rotation at the hospital. They yep. didn't care about that at the time. Pregnant they women. The road. And we and the, after, when time has passed, we forget about those things. And a fresh thing comes and we go hoopla 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 and we just finish with that. This you do not know if it's trial runs these people are having. And Dominicans do not take those words lightly. Do not take those words lightly. I see a certain person, as I said, coming to Dominica pretty often. The ambassador to the Polisario. We do not know what is happening with this person and with their connection. And they have dates, they tell you by that time that will happen, by that time that will happen. They always have dates and things too. But thank God for his divine intervention. And our prayers, God says two or three are gathered in my name. I will hear them. And maybe these are the, the people we have, honest people, all have seen them come short of the glory. But sometimes we go to God on our knees asking for forgiveness for our sins. Changing our ways and going to God to ask for intervention. And this is what maybe saves us or is saving us all the time. Gary, as I said, the posts are open. I, I, I am frightened about the statement that this man has made. Gary, I don't think I'll be going to the Catholic Church in Colio again because he's there sometimes. He sits at my back. Be careful, eh? And uh -uh. get the leader, you will try to get those at the bottom and then go up. So I don't think I'm going to put my foot in a church where this man is sitting. If these are the statements you start to make, I don't know what is the plan. And Daryl, all I continue to ask the Dominicans, to ask people to pray. Pray for divine intervention in our country. Plead the precious blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth upon our land, upon our leader, upon his children, upon his wife, Daryl. Daryl, Pian is a strong person, but, but how much a strong person can take in their human capacity? Because we say, don't touch our PM, but when PM goes, he's at his home with whoever and his family. We are not there. We do not want to be proactive, reactive. We have to be proactive in what we do. And I hope the police force those that are at the top, the leaders, they are analyzing those statements. They're seeking help. And that they are putting plans in place. And they have their plan to protect our leaders, to protect our country. To pro because when, if anything happens, even the workers think they'll be scared, they'll have their mark on their forehead. And if they decide to do that, they too will get caught up. Because desperate men do desperate things. So don't think it's labor rights alone. If anything like that would happen, that would be caught up. Into. You could warn your people because they like to be in their activity. So it's not labor rights alone that will be caught up. This is a situation for Dominica and Dominican. And I just continue to pray for my country. I continue to pray for my leader. And the thing is not about Roosevelt. Terry, you know, personally. This is about the head of the country, you know, the prime minister of Dominica we're talking about. Not Roosevelt's carriage. We have to divorce those two. We need to divorce those two. The head of our government. That is what we are talking about. Not the person Roosevelt's carriage. And so, as I leave you, 
I continue to pray for my country, to pray for my prime minister, to pray for Dominica, and just ask God to take off that heart of stone that exists in some of us and give us a heart of flesh. I will have a blessed day. I am happy today. Well, West Indies, <laughs> we do the draw. I support West Indies. I know that. No matter what. And the I, old... I, I am not those that, um, if they're not doing well, I'm against them. Uh-huh. I am with them because they are West Indians. And I know you're... I can't want to support another team against my country. But I am a very loyal person. You know. I know that. And I you're... know that. You, I'm for you, you know. That is true. I can vouch for right. that. <laughs> yeah. When I'm for you, I'm for you. Amen. I'm not for you. I wouldn't pretend that I am for you and I'm not for you. Amen. I, I can't pretend. Yes. <laughs> so have a blessed time. I'm with West Indies, win, lose, or draw. Uh-huh. But I'm I happy that them. you are celebrating. The last three games, you're celebrating greatly. Yes. Indeed. Already first one, though we won, but we have to look at that carefully. That mm-hmm. was just, uh, you know, it was a hot win. Yeah. But the last two have been... The last two oh. have been, yes. Uh-huh. Very good. The All there right. are areas we still have to tighten on because we still, I find... I, we get complacent, mm-hmm. and we do not have that killer instinct. Killer instinct. We, yes. mm-hmm. we just feel we're going to win, and then we get, you know. Mm-hmm. But um, we have to be more determined in our win, more decisive, and not... I mean, we should have won in the 10th over. But <laughs> a win is a win, isn't it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. So Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Go see wherever you are. And so go a blessed good morning to you, my yes, boy. Indeed. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, the parliamentary representative for Kolihu Dubla Biosh, Honorable Lady Catherine. Dyer. Right, but Daryl, putting everything in context within the Caribbean, having seen what has happened in Haiti is a clear indication that we cannot take it for granted. You know, for instance, if there is a storm threatening the Caribbean, we always have to be listening. To mm-hmm. find out what the storm will do to us. Honorable so when we, Douglas said it best yesterday, Le Bab Kamawadu plead the faith. So what happened in Haiti Glo- is not a joke. We have to pay attention. We have to pay attention here in Dominica. On the local line, good morning. Darren, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning. Meredith. How are you? I'm fine. Mm-hmm. Good morning to Jyoti. Good morning. To Brain. To good Brain. morning. Yes, I hear you casting remarks once to Jotin they mention and Kali this is just a touch or what for me. I will Nobody do call your <laughs> name, <laughs> madam, but what about what, 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 what you I want in on you. Nobody uh, do call your name. Uh, 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 yes, uh, uh, but Kali this is my name. No, but nobody call your name. <laughs> <laughs> He had one two last night. Nice West night. Celebrated West Indies, Indies and he couldn't wake up. Uh, <laughs> well, good good for him. Mm-hmm. Yes, Daryl. I myself giving my little two pens. Yes, tell me. Daryl, we have to take those threats very, very, very seriously in Dominica. Because you can remember um Randy Rodney mm-hmm. what he said also when Carry the the one to do whatever, whatever. If he thinks stone is hard, he'd have rather harder than stone. Yeah, he mm-hmm. said that. Mm-hmm. Okay, and that really our part of entry. Our um um. Hello. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh I'm not too sure what happened there. Nine twenty nine, but it's a good time to go to commercial, and we'll be back right after a word from our sponsors, the good folks at Flow Dominica, Busy Bubble. Cash and Carry, and Auto Trade Limited. We'll be back right after a word from our sponsors. Easy breezy, busy bubble, laundry service on the hustle, washing, drying, folding service, washing comfort, cause it's worth it. Key zone, grips and toys, come on, daddy, bring the bag. Dirty things from wine and malt, come on, man, it's not your fault. Busy bubble. Visit our new location on the Castle Comfort Highway next to the Cicero Hotel. Busy bubble laundry, taking the busy out of your day. Are you looking for good eggs? I mean quality fresh eggs straight from the farm? Well, we have exactly what you're looking for. No matter the quantity, we've got the right amount. Visit us at Prince City Downstairs Kyrie FM on Independence Street for your fresh farm eggs or call telephone 448-7331, 448-7330 or 448-8752. 
and we'll get you your fresh farm eggs. I'm not exaggerating. During and after a hurricane, you may need supplies to keep your family safe and healthy. Be sure to include items such as a first aid kit, flashlight, batteries, candles, at least three days of non-perishable foods, water for each member of your household, along with any necessary prescription medications. Make your list. Stock up on everything you might need early to be prepared. A message from Cash and Carry. Auto Trade introduces our newest line of lubricants, Valvoline, America's first branded motor oil. Valvoline has been formulating and improving motor oil longer than any other brand. From the world's first racing oil to the world's first synthetic blend, Valvoline has been trusted in engines around the world for over 150 years. Make the switch today. Choose Valvoline, the original motor oil. At Auto Trade, we only recommend the best in quality because at Auto Trade, it's more than a vehicle, it's a relationship. Valvoline Lubricants, now distributed by Auto Trade. Switch your TV and internet services to Floor Now and pay no deposit or sign up fees. Enjoy free installation and one month free service to experience the most revolutionary television product and super fast broadband speeds of up to 50 megabytes on Dominica's most reliable and robust network. Pause, rewind live TV, 24 hour replay, video on demand, and parental control as some of our TV value adds to enhance your TV viewing experience. Visit our main store or partner locations or call 440-3569 that's 440-3569 or whatsapp 277-3569 that's 277-3569 for more information flow terms and conditions apply 9 32 is the morning time let's go back to the local line on the local line good morning my dear friends, how good. are you all? I'm good, how are you? Good morning. My dear guys, I'll, I'll, after uh, I don't want to change the topic, congratulations on the West Indies, Brandon Darrell. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm sure you know who is speaking. Yes. Uh -huh. Let me tell you, my friend, um, me personally think Nicholas George should not be, uh, be asking any questions. Nicholas George should be in stop fun. <laughs> this is why he, he ought to be in stock farm by now. Let me tell you something, my dear brothers, two brothers. The commissioner of police who's walking around in Dominica, his father was sent home at a very young age because he was a Labour Party supporter. He was a young sergeant police. His son is the deputy commissioner of police, Lincoln Corbett. His father was sent home by Miss Charles at a very young age in his 50s. And the PM, every one of them knows that. Why should Nicola George be all there, my dear friends? He should be in stock farm right now and... I, uh, Dominica knows my voice. It's only one person who speaks like me. You kill me today, you can't kill me tomorrow. <laughs> All right, sir. Yes, for me. Thank you. Thank Hold on. Yes. Thank you very much, my dear brother. All right, thank you. Thank, thank you very much for your contribution there this morning. That's your thoughts and your opinion, as we always say. We go through the process of law and the court. And, you know, the, some of some, what, what the Labour Party does, we do not make laws based on opinions. We have a thought, we go to the court, and we get it rectified. We get it rectified. We get, uh, when, once the court makes the ruling, we may not like it, but we are by. So as soon as the court decided that this thing is going to the magistrate's court, preparations were put in place for the case to for be the trial, defended. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay? And the DPP stepped in. And if, if if it was a thing where we were just waiting for the DPP, you think we'd have hired no, QCs from Barbados uh? and Trinidad? No. 
but the ma- the prime you're, minister you're high left lawyers. his office and went to the the prime minister of this country went to the magistrates court you know and stood there to answer charges against for him for treating for treating you came now and say you do I not know, know what, what treating is. is let's go to the local line then we'll go to the overseas line on the local line good morning good morning good morning good morning good morning good morning nothing that happened in there or Nicola just said is that to surprise me you know mm-hmm. it's just that i know our security and everything dismantled them they are meant up guns and things we had that coming if you listen to united fire could know exactly what them people would mean so they just did not see they tried everything they just did not touch it and now they just why are Nicholas Brent? You listen to the man in police, but you listen to some. Malin, uh, Malin, you have to call us back. You you sound, yeah, very there is back. something very strange happening on the line there. Try again. Hello. Yeah, go, go ahead. Let me let me hear. I'm not hearing you. You hear me properly? No, we were not hearing you properly, on, on, although you're a little better now. Yeah, I hear you. No, it's better now. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I said that I'm not surprised. Mm-hmm. And Nicholas Judge now is they party in. But the only thing I tell Nicholas Judge, we don't build mountains or environment of fear. And let me tell you this something, no man that's going to do anything, don't talk about it. Sometimes it's when it fails, they talk about it. But that shows you the type of individual that used to be in the police force, that's still in the police force. I hope our politicians, our lawmakers, and who's supposed to protect the civilians and the people of Dominica? Now we're taking a stand. Especially like our Minister of Security. You understand what I mean? Yes. Hello? Mm-hmm. Yes, we're listening. Yes, listening. You, you have to, because John been flying over the Prime Minister out, blessing and them start doing it, making all kind of statements. I mean, we have to, they really have to look at those things. But what I'm saying to them, that is long they planning it. But let me tell you, what happened in Haiti could never happen in Dominica because tell you what, our prime minister is a righteous man and he's doing good things. They start marketing him as a bad person and they never get support. So let me tell Mr. Nicholas George, whatever seed you sow for your brother man, you will reap it. And that clearly shows all the kind of crooks and criminals we had, or we had in our police force. And not today, I say in that. And you know, right now I'm just sitting and listen. But and sometimes when I listen to them, it reminds me of some mistake we can some donkeys we used to have before. That let them tell all this something. My father had a donkey carrying load there, eh? and my father had a donkey once in the south. And then my father could only do load loading the donkey. Donkey say, huh? When my father, when the donkey bend, for my father to tie the, you know, the coat on it, back the donkey does bend on the side and put on all the load and run down. <laughs> so, Nicholas just had so much load on his back. <laughs> he don't know how to tell United Workers Party and them, I have enough load. Now he's saying he did not vote for them. <laughs> now we count in how many arms that in, the, I mean, come on, let's listen to the man, a candidate. You understand? Mm-hmm. But we are not surprised. If we listen to Q95 and we listen to all their threats, we know exactly what they were planning. But we have to thank our security, but in another form, if they compare into what that happened to Haiti, this Minister of Security needs to bottle up and look at how we're going to keep we the people of Dominica safe. Because when they attack the Prime Minister of Dominica or of the Labour Party, they will only attack him alone. And I need to say to them, they have families. No, and they will not, no, 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 Marlene, no, what I'm Marlene. Saying, hey, wait, wait, listen, listen what I'm saying. When you have families, you don't try to go after other people's families. You understand it's not you alone. So we're saying to them, anything they do to him, they will pay. You understand? I'm not saying but they will not, they, not they will they will not get a chance to do anything to him, okay? But they cannot. God, they is, cannot, God is good. Mm-hmm. Where is in control? And let me tell you something, Daryl. It's because of your works, you know. You can be wolf and you can be set free. If the Prime Minister was that type of person they were saying he was, 
trust me. A lot of things will happen to him. Man, the man is a good man and he protects him by love. And nothing. Let me tell you something. Nothing and nobody. No weapon formed down. against him no shall weapon. prosper. Because it's your watch that will set you free. All right. So the Prime Minister is standing firm. And Nicholas just, I rem he reminds me of a donkey my father had. <laughs> now he is gay about the wind. He don't get so long below. He just stand up and he watch it and he go where, where, where. And he don't get run down mm. and leave the load for him to carry it, you know. So that's what people have done. Don't know. See you and good morning. See you and good morning. Mm. On the overseas line, good morning. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning to you all. What a great intelligent program indeed. That's the man, Bibbs. Good morning. No respect, to all the, no respect to all the callers there. Now, Mr. Darrell. I would like to call Brent later on his phone privately on a matter I cannot say on, on this on the on the air, but Brent will give you the information when I when I when I give it to him. So you and Brent can sit down in chambers and to see if it makes sense on what I know happened at the GFK airport on Thursday. I'm not calling nobody name. I will give Brent that information off air on the common cell foot. Uh, Mr. Larry and Mr. Brent, I call Mr. Simeon on his program on Saturday. And I said that Minister of Security, because I live in the States, I have ears on the ground. We have to take that serious about the drone that fly over our Prime Minister residence a couple of months ago. Let us bring back them fellas in CID. Let us question these fellas and get to the matter of all these things. Now, as a, a caller said earlier, that was a trial run. And I believe that 100% because my ears are on the ground. We have to get these things very seriously and have it under control. Now, I have a lot of confidence in the Dominica police force. Nothing can try. Them fellas can protect the country. I have a lot of confidence in the Dominica police force. Trust me. So we have to get them fellas, and like Nicholas George, we have to put them guys under constant surveillance. Mr. Christian said that on Saturday on Mr. Simeon Albert show. We have to bug all them fellas' phone when they're coming in, when they're going out. What they doing? What they eating? We have to well, 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 surveillance is one, but I'm not in this bugging phone business. The police has avenues they can use to do certain things. I don't know about yes. bugging phone. You know, we have to be careful what we say. We're not like them. It's yes. not just say what we want. Oh, okay. okay? Understood. Yes, All right. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. But we have to take it very serious because I live in the States. I live in Connecticut. And mostly every day I, I travel through New York and Boston because I'm two and a half hours to Boston and 45 minutes to New York. So back and forth in my construction work, I love the hearing things from the other side. My my head and my eyes and my ears on the ground, Daryl. Mm -hmm. Now we have to keep a look of St. Thomas too, the U.S. Virgin Islands. There's a lot of haters down there. When I was down there, you was planning some kind of nonsense too, especially taxi drivers. On the other side, we have to investigate those fellas when they come in down the car up and on. Mm -hmm. Let's All right. Tell us, Daryl. All right. Okay, so man. You guys. All so right. I'll call you later and give Daryl information. All right. All right. Some good program, my brother. Okay. okay. Thank you very much for your contribution. Yes, I agree that anyone who makes any sort of threat should be monitored. Yes. I agree with that. Surveillance. One. Yes. <laughs> On the local line, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Okay. Good morning. I'm good. How are you? Good. Thank you. I'm listening and to me. It's like, I just can't help this, but I must bring scripture. Mm -hmm. We just have to continue to pray for these guys. The Bible says to pray for your enemies. And the Bible also says, when a man ways pleases the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. Do you, don't you realize every time the Prime Minister speaks, he speaks about God? Amen. I think that man is protected. Mm -hmm. They can do what they want. We have to just continue to pray for those guys and ask God to just, you know, soften their hearts and, and, and give them a heart of repentance. I think God will do whatever he has to do in this time. You know, and I know when he does it, he does it well. So I'm not even fearful. We just have to continue to pray that God will do whatever he, And we're not praying for anything bad for them, you know. We're just wishing good for them. Because all that is, you know, you heaping coals upon the head. Just we have to just do things scripturally and let just God, God do his, his, his own, you know. And we know everything will be all right. So we Amen. are fearful for Prime Minister because all right. he's surrounded by prayer. Have a blessed day. You have a good day as well. Back to the overseas line. Good morning. Yes, brother David and Mr. Brain, fireman touching base. Good morning. Good morning, fireman. Let me tell you something here. Eh? Congratulations to the Western this team. Good morning to River Lake and the Wool also. Congratulations to the Western this team. Boy, see that with the problem Western this team have. I suspect it have a computer and they have to use the computer. They bring this <laughs> team important. No, Mr. Darryl, no. 
talking about the ex-police, well and truly, but I don't say they'll put him in his cell whatsoever. As you say, we have to really cut. Mm -hmm. But well and truly, we have to take this stuff very seriously. Because you know why? Yesterday on the nation station, on the next side, of, we, some callers call on me. Because I said, there's an open line, and I will call on the exact same point. And the guy from America, and always calling the program, he call, he talk about it, and another caller call and talk about it. Then I met him, I call and talk about it. Now the host call the person himself, which is Mr. Nicolas. You know what I'm saying? You there the fireman? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we there, we there. Go, go ahead. ahead, go ahead. So now the guest call the Mr. Nicolas. I tell Daryl, you see that man, that man is coward, Daryl. And that man just talk. You hear the brother say? I take him for a big policeman like you, my lord. A big man like you, the policeman, you have a position in the police force. You are the security of the country. You saying that in a meeting, the pride, the world boss say, when he was, was, I think he was, was saying something and he said that. When you see them and call them traitors, right? No, I check in for a big man like Mr. An officer, police officer, my lord. When you host call the brother and they're talking to the brother, the brother say that the prime minister says, I say, to call them traitors. Now, they were asking him, if somebody call you traitor already, no. So correct, the man, nobody ever call you traitor. So which means no, partner, all you have a problem, something not correct about you, know. Trust me. Because if nobody ever call you traitor, and you're the police, even if most people call you traitor, then you make a complaint because the police will go better. You don't make no complaint. But them and the grudge for us, everybody say, and it's so correct and perfect, my love, I think them and serious, because why? If you are the police officer, which means you know all about the force, you know about everything. Even calling the chief of police, everything, you know a lot of things. That really, I don't know, joke thing, I don't know, the same thing will happen in River Nikado. Because really and truly, as we just say, evil follow evil, and good work with good. Many shall be called, truth shall be chosen, as this is certain, it's facts and figures. Mankind caught shot of the glory. But anytime you see you put the file first, no matter which one you choose, Allah, Buddha, Jesus, as I was my only Rastafari, nobody cares of that. That's why the labor family is a great family, because why? You have one cowboy, which is Mr. Um, Julian Rivier. Good morning to you also. Only family, one cowboy in River Nica, and you have one fireman in the family. Nobody cares of this family. My Lord, we have a country to build. We don't live in no fear. This country is a great country. Now is our time to shine. And I tell you how much of them workers fellas tell me, fireman. What they want to do is try to disturb for the airport not to come because when the airport comes, they trust that they'll turn. And I tell you, my lord, nothing cannot stop that. We are on the way to drive forward, we go in, backward, never. World boss, good morning to you. My big brother, my original lawyer, Mr. Moses, my big sister, Stephanie, the whole labor family, up and running. Fireman in our country, bless my lord. Give thanks for life. You have a good morning. Good morning. You have a good morning there. 9.48 is the morning time brain while we are doing all of these things government keeps working you heard about the increase in the minimum wage oh it's very yes, good across the board well, there yes. and new categories added to the minimum wage very good and i've seen other countries in the caribbean even comparing uh the increase in the minimum wage to what exists in their own countries Country. yeah good. okay good. so good. we see the increase uh, we so, so so let me just take you on. There was no attempt then by uh, any attempt to, to put the cock on the bottle then. Me upa we Thomas. <laughs> Thomas Vinidi say iki fe, you know. He that do it? He, no, he, he was on uh, committee and all those things. He that do it? And government take their recommendation. And, uh, Thomas, <laughs> Thomas, I will deal Thomas, with you in a little. Uh, in a subsequent, we'll deal I'll deal with, deal with you, Thomas, Thomas, we'll deal with Thomas, about that minimum <laughs> wage <laughs> business. Uh, also, we have the um, budget coming up. Yeah, the budget. I would think within the next couple of weeks, we'll yeah. be hearing the 2021-2022 national budget presentation. The 18th. By Prime Minister Mr. Roosevelt Skerritt, God's will. Dr. The Skerritt 18th yes. budget presentation by Prime Minister Skerritt. And then you also have uh, what you're looking forward to soon, the commissioning of the Massac. Massac. Oh, Massac. man. That's Ma Margaret, oh, man. Yeah. Oh, man. Bar um, Maho, Massac is a beautiful one. Man. Yes. Oh, and man. You see. I had a look at into it, man. Over the it. years, these sports people have been calling for improvement in sporting facilities. And they're getting it. Now that they're getting it. And not one, not two. Several. Too numerous to mention. <laughs> all over. Big, small, medium. All sorts of facilities are being renovated, rehabilitated, newly constructed. Okay? <laughs> You're hearing a different tune now. Sports people are receiving monies. The footballers, 
were given time off. They were paid to go and going to camp to go practice. And the rewards were seen in yeah, their yes. elevated performances. Yes. Though we did not win but certain was, games. But when you can hold Panama yeah. on that stage. Yeah. Panama giving teams like us in, in the Caribbean other uh, of our size and what have you. Eight nil, nine nil and that sort of thing, you know. So so we, we were happy indeed. We were happy indeed happy. to see what is happening in sports. Indeed. Now, netball, you have a big netball tournament coming around right. in Dominica very soon. A big netball tournament is going to happen very soon in in Dominica. So we look we look forward to, to that. Mm-hmm. I and think the basketball the as well. OECS netball tournament. Basketball doing well. OECS might be here yeah, this year. Yeah, oh I, I'm hearing in November thereabouts the oh OECS netball tournament will be oh happening yeah. right here. Okay, in nice. Dominica that at the nice. Windsor Park Sports Stadium, and then you, you, I'm hearing talk about um, um, what is it? Um, I, I what is that sport? Table tennis making a revival, okay. lawn tennis making a revival, okay. and that sort of thing there. And uh, Olympic Games coming up. Is is it next week? The Olympic Games begin. I, I could be um, next week. Next week, the are Olympic we Games anybody? begin. I I think there are two athletes who have qualified for the Olympic the Games. games so in, in Tokyo, Japan, yeah. mm-hmm. Tokyo, Japan. I have knocked off something on my bucket list. And I was able to see Olympic Games live and in living in, color. Uh, in the goodness. In Beijing. In the goodness. Yes, yes. As a matter <laughs> of fact, I was also privileged to some at some time in history to live in the Olympic Village. Okay. In China. I spent a year and six months living at the Olympic but Village. Yeah, boy, you've done in a lot Beijing. Of, oh my you know, goodness. So You're I'm very happy <laughs> for that. On the local line, good morning. <laughs> The bird nest, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's me again, Mr. T. Good morning again, yeah. Auntie. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the Patiasa. Just to tell, um, but, um, for the man of God, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry, we are living here. We are living here. Living here. I don't know. I don't show about that. You can pull, 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 you can and he doesn't forget her. Yeah, you probably, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so. I good work, good, good, work, good work, my brother. You didn't put in the same thing yet, but mm-hmm. you know everything that you, you, you I, do, I just read, you know, and no, when I somebody tell you, me you, something, you I br- to follow, show it to me. Yeah. You must have listened to because you should have got a story. Where is the story? You get it. Show it to me. Well, I, all right. Okay, auntie. <laughs> okay, then, auntie. You have a good morning. But you've you had a have good time, a man. good morning. Yeah, man. I morning lived in the business. I, I would wake up and man. look out my window, <laughs> and there's the bird nest, you know. Right and there. the bird's nest was an architecture. Oh, man, marvel. wonder. It was a I also like the water cube, okay, in, where, where they had swimming. Yes, the swimming, yes. And, you know, I got a, 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 I was able to see... Usually in the Caribbean, we focus on track and feel as the gymnastics. But I got to see things like um, synchronized swimming. Oh, man, in the uh, pool. Oh, man. Brain, How is that? that spot. When I saw that on television before, I thought, but, but, yes, I say on spot now. Uh, ladies come in there, they all kind of make up jumping in pool and they claim they dance. Brain, when those ladies are under the water and their feet are in the air doing all kind of acrobatics, and I say, but wait, hold on, how are they under the water then? You know, it, it, it you, are, you have when sometimes seeing is believing. Okay. I got a chance to see um, some some martial arts and what have you, and then also the um you saw football volleyball. Yes, I saw one football, the most important football match, the finals between Argentina and Nigeria at the time. It was Argentina won. But in a stadium, and when I was in the stadium, there were 97,000 people in the stadium at the same time. 97,000. 97, in the stadium. You know, <laughs> I got to see some volleyball, some um, gymnastics. That's the one I enjoyed, Bryn, gymnastics. There's the ladies in particular doing all sorts of um, stunts there, Bryn. Something I never in my life think I'll be... <laughs> If I do a back tumble now, as they would but say. But you see, you see, Daryl, it's very important that the young people, mm. r- learning from experience, take their work seriously. Yes. There are be, opportunities. We focus too much on track and field and what have you. I think you give some 
young men in Dominica the opportunity yes. to get involved in rowing. Rowing. No, man, they, those guys will go out there and right. demoralize anybody on a rowing, in a rowing and race we, because it, that is pure raw talent we and, have. And you That's s- fig and dash in there we eat in, partner. And you see the kind of thing that happened uh, in Jamaica where they have the, the bobsledge. Yes, the, the bobs- <laughs> Oh, yes, 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 you know. The bobsledge. I wouldn't get involved in that bobsled business, Winter Olympics. But, you know, there, I think there thing? are other sports that if Dominicans were to partake in it, yes. we might ha- just have a natural advantage Indeed, because right. of, of the sheer strength what that about some that? people What about women, women boxing? Yes, women <laughs> boxing. You have um this other sport there, um hockey. What? Uh, handball. 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 Yeah. You know, we we've heard about that, and you know, we 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 get um we we can we just have to partake in this sport. And I'm, I'm saying that the young people growing up now mm-hmm. have more opportunities than when I had. Of course, we did not have all these scholarships and all this country open. Russia, man, China, man, you know, we, we, we Australia, take advantage man. of the opportunities. Yeah, man. Government provides the opportunities. Take, take advantage of it. On the local line, good morning. Yes, good morning, my dear friends. I'm sorry I did not finish my message. Oh, moon, Vinny, well. Your pattern out our radio. <laughs> ah, yes, uh, let me tell you something. That young sergeant officer, Merlin Lintonius Corbett, was sent home by Miss Charles uh, for security threat. His son is the commissioner of police. Mm. And have, li- have well, Nicola George walking around here well, in Rosso, Papa Bon Dieu. Well, say, yeah. All right. Then. I know I know I know your passion, okay? I know your passion, okay? But we're running out of time, so you'll call tomorrow, okay? I know you're running out of time. Okay, but I did not con I did not finish my message. Okay, my dear yeah, friend. But we're running out of time, so g- I'll give you thirty seconds to wrap up. Okay, I'm wrapping up right now. Have mm. a good day. All right. <laughs> my partner there you know but thank you for joining us this morning i know brain was in a good form i he was waiting for me this morning but i took in front and i played his song for him so nobody could send any words for me and i'm looking forward to when joti returns hopefully he'll be back tomorrow let me see i'll, I'll give him another two minutes again tomorrow to gloat about the Western game, what he says, the game of glorious uncertainties and what have you. But look out tonight, Simeon comes your way with the next level. So look out, Simeon, of course, always brings to you the important um, uh, points and he does it in his own creative way there, Simeon Albert. That's why everyone looks forward to Simeon on the next level every Tuesday and Saturday night. So we look forward to the next level program. We'll be back tomorrow with another hang and then until then on behalf of brain do have a very good morning Shall I tell them no brother i am not a bad boy yeah. but i cannot help mm-hmm. it no no tell them again mm-hmm. i said i can't help it hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Bye.